Good morning, Jed. Good morning. Hello. How are you? Good morning, Internet. Hello. I feel so good right now. Even though I'm all like sore and stuff because I've been working out. But like I'm already feeling results in my core and it's so nice. I feel delicious. So today we are going to stay in the ceiling. I need to put on shoes first. We need shoes. You can't go in there. You better not have been in there. I'm gonna find out real fast because there's powder all over the floor. Hmm? Let's go find my shoes. I think I've got, I need some shoes. Oh no, my flips are downstairs. I'm not gonna put on a full pair of sneakers just to go in there for a second. Let's go get my flips. Look, Jet, I got my flip and floppies. You ready? Let's go, come on. I'm gonna go walk through the house real quick. Come on, come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I know you're so excited. That blanket needs to go downstairs and I keep forgetting every time I go down those stairs. I walk right by it. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you beat me up the stairs, bud. Ooh, it hurts to walk upstairs. Everything hurts. Ooh. Hi. All right, let's go check this out. All right, how's he been in here? Probably. Can I tell? No. Maybe. Let's see if there are any paw prints that are not a cat. That's a cat. You talk as a little. Hmm. That's also a cat. Methodical. See? Spike. 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 I don't see any jet prints so. though. Good boy. Are you afraid to walk around a vacuum? That's probably what it is. Okay, so ceiling today. We're gonna do a lot of looking up. I have, I'm gonna take it with a small sponge, which is in the corner, probably because it fell off the ladder at one point. But this sponge is a sanding sponge. You hear that? So I'm gonna use this bad boy on the ceiling. Mostly because we shouldn't have a lot left as far as like large holes to fill. So, we should be able to just go ch -ch -ch and get the ceiling done this morning. That'd be great. I would be super happy with that. So I've got, you can tell where I filled. And I'm gonna have a little bit of leveling to do. Some places I didn't really have a lot of leveling to do. But I work at it in chunks. So when I do this, I actually start in this corner, uh, come on, this one. And then I work my way over, and then I do the big line, and then I do this line in the middle. Eh, <laughs> this one in the middle. I don't know which way to point my finger. <laughs> and then this guy, and then this one, and then that one, and then the ceiling is done. So I do them in lines, just to make sure that I do the entire line, instead of like, oh, I'm gonna move the ladder and touch everything I can get, because I'll miss something. So hopefully we can get all of this sanded early this morning and then I can paint this afternoon. That would be awesome. That would be really good. And I know that my whole body is going to hurt as time goes on. Is that better? Ta-da! All right. I'm gonna put on a different pair of pants though because these are like sweatpants and they're 100% going to suck up every little bit of dust that comes off of the floor. And I really don't want to uh, do that <laughs> with this pair of pants. And maybe a long sleeve shirt, just so that I can limit the amount of dust that gets on me, even though I'm still gonna get covered in dust. <laughs> so, I'm gonna change, and I'm gonna attack the ceiling. That will be great. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? You should be excited. Like seriously, get excited. We're almost done! Half an hour later, my ceiling is done, and I am ready for a shower. Ta-da! I don't know if it looks that much different to you, but to me it looks pretty different. I need to sweep it yet, <clears throat> which is the thing that, you know, most people don't really think about is like sweeping their ceiling. Who does that? I do! <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And then that's it, my ceiling is done. <laughs> so, I'm gonna run a fan in the window. Uh, I'm gonna sweep it. I'm gonna let the dust settle. I might vacuum. That may not be a bad idea. Ugh. And then I'll take a shower. And then I need to go to the UPS store and pick up all of the stuff from Amazon. <laughs> because we do our subscribe and save every month, and that has arrived very early, which is good. Oh, all right, let me get back to work. Hey, 
It's amazing how much dust gets on this floor. I just vacuumed. You can see the floor again. That's nuts. All right, so I'm still dirty. I'm gonna go take a shower. We're gonna take a ride to the UPS store. Um, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna paint the ceiling. I'm very excited about. Check it out. Yeah, I can show you the ceiling all day. <laughs> it looks so much better than what was in here. But I'm gonna go get clean. I am gross, you ready? Again, my glasses are like a whole other layer. <clears throat> Do I need anything else upstairs before I go down? Nope. That's a big question. It's a long way down. Uh, do I need anything on this floor? Nope. What are you doing? I know you're down here. What are you doing? Do you want to go for a ride? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jess. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. He's in the car. That's the start. And you went right to your seat. If you want to sit in the bag, you can sit in the bag. I'm not gonna tell him no. You ready, bud? We're gonna go to the UPS store so I can go get a giant box from Amazon. We don't send anything to the house. But mostly because we don't think it'll ever get to the house. <laughs> about what are you so excited about we didn't bring a ball or we'd go to the park we'll go tonight okay you just want to say hi to everybody that's all this is that's all <laughs> you're a good boy Jack got a treat for being so good on his ride he was so good such a good boy such a good boy yes he was very good. All right, time to go upstairs. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test my solutions to the floor. Um, I need to read some instructions, I need to clean off a spatula, and then I'm going to try and attempt to stain the floor. And I say that loosely. I'm literally just gonna go upstairs and test it out. I see you haven't moved from your basket. Are you quite comfortable? Yeah, you look comfortable.
how do I look? Aside from messy. I even have paint on my teeth, which is, is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> it's everywhere. Like, I'm just covered. Whatever, I'll fix that later. Ceiling has its first coat. And it is now a solid color. It is not white. I did it on off-white, so you can sort of see that it's got a little bit of a blue sheen to it. That's on purpose, um, because this room is going to be blue. So that's gonna be really nice. It'll reflect really nicely. That's not quite white. I really like it. It's actually a really nice color in here. It's ever so slightly gray. Ever so slightly, but it's a blue gray. I've got to hammer my can yet. I've cleaned up all of my paint so far. Um, I went ahead and I did all my edging. It's very rough, because again, we're putting trim on. I don't have to be perfect. I just have to make sure that the edges between where the trim goes on and the paint starts are done and clean. Aside from that, I mean, once we do the walls, it'll be different, but I still haven't sanded that wall almost at all. I wanted to get the ceiling done, because if I can get that, the other thing I have to do is I have to take the light bulbs down because I painted them. <laughs> so I have to clean all of the light bulbs, um, especially that one. That one's really bad. I got that one good. But that's okay, I can clean a light bulb. It's not a big deal. Um, so we're gonna get all that stuff done. Um, I should probably get up there and just grab those and then clean them. Cause I have to clean all the paint, like the paint brush and the roller. I, the paintbrush is done cause that's an expensive paintbrush. And I wanted to make sure it was done. But the roller I haven't completely cleaned. It's submerged, but I haven't cleaned it. So we'll get there. One step at a time. I'm just glad that we have a coat up. So I'm gonna let this dry. I may not throw, I might throw another coat up tonight. I'm not sure. It really is quite a strain on the neck. Um, but I need to go buy another can because that can is quite empty. I put a lot of paint up there. Do, 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 do. Come on. Nope, I sealed it. Either way, is, there's a lot missing. Um, now, I'm going to address something because I'm sure there are a bunch of you that are freaking out because I didn't prime the ceiling. Okay, so <laughs> the paint that we bought is Valspar Signature. It is now buried under all of my paint. It says, hi, hiding, and you can just barely see it. It says paint and primer. Now, I went ahead and I read the spec sheet, not just the instructions on the back of the can. I read the 100% spec sheet. If you follow that spec sheet, you don't have to prime your surface. It has to be clean, for sure, and it's good when it's new but it doesn't need to be primed. Pretty much what I have done is this first coat is my primer coat. And then they recommend two more coats. I might be able to get away with one. Yeah, because it's the ceiling, I might be able to get away with one. But I'll find out more tonight when the lights go on because you'll be able to see all of that stuff. Um, the other thing I want to note, because this is also important for painting, is that this is a flat paint. So it says ultra white base, a, um, but it also says mate and interior. Um, it's a flat base, so it's not gonna have the kind of sheen that you currently see on this wall. This is an eggshell finish. And when I was working in the paint department at Lowe's, I thought eggshell was like this really dumb finish and why would anybody paint anything eggshell and everybody bought eggshell. Now that I've painted something in eggshell, I totally get it. At least especially when it comes to the Valspar paint because eggshell looks really good. But you don't want to use eggshell in certain rooms and we'll go over that as time goes on. But flat is 100% what you want to use on a ceiling because it's going to hide all of the imperfections. So all of the garbage that I didn't quite finish or if it wasn't quite level or anything, it's now gone. <laughs> you can't tell. Like you might be able to see like this one seam right here if it'll zoom in again. Come on, focus. There we go. There's a seam right here, I think. Yeah, right in the middle. But that may just be that it needs another coat. I mean, it really does look like I just need to throw another coat up there and it may disappear. I'm like not, I'm not worried about it. I'm really not. It's a ceiling. How often are you gonna look at the ceiling? <laughs> not often enough. Maybe in pictures you'll see it, maybe not. Maybe I'll Photoshop it. Who knows? All I know is it's my bedroom and I've got a coat of paint up and I love it and it's great. And Spike is already moving in. He's like, this is so much more comfortable. Where did all the bats go, Mom? I still have a little bit of daylight left. I'm gonna inspect the floor. What I have been doing, or I did do, is I filled a couple of cracks 
with some Minwax wood filler, as you can see. Now, I only did a couple because I want to test to see one, what it looks like after I've stained it, and two, um, what it looks like after I've stained it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I want to see if I like it. I could really hate it. So, I'm going to do that real quick. I have my handy dandy cloth, cotton, terry cloth, whatever. And I'm going to test out a couple of colors. I'm going to try a little bit of red oak. I have already chosen the one that I like, which is this one. <laughs> but I have a feeling that I'm going to have to talk to Steven about it because he's probably gonna like this one. But I think this one matches the color of the walls better. I think that'll look way cooler. Look at what it does to the grain. Oh, it just makes the grain pop. That's super cool. I have a feeling he's gonna like this one because it's more traditional. See, look at that. I like this one because it's not traditional. This one makes it look more exotic. Ooh. Even that came out really good. What do you think? I like, I like this one. I was looking for a, a dark, like, I wanted a black, like, floor anyway. So that gets me close. Maybe I can talk him into it. If I haven't sung the praises of Purdy Rollers, I really should because this thing is luxurious. So I bought new rollers while I was there because I noticed that the one that I was using, I didn't really like how it was covering. So I went and bought Purdy, who is the, has the best reputation as far as painting tools go. And now that I get to experience one of these rollers, it is just magnificent. My finishing brush that I use for pretty much all detail work, except for my tiny, tiny little like Eedy beady brush, um, that's Purdy brush. Um, and I'm really happy I bought it. They're a little bit pricey, but I got three rollers for $12, and it was so worth it. So I'm gonna use this to do the final coat on the ceiling because it doesn't, um, it doesn't pill. So you don't have to deal with all like the leftovers. So like all of these weird little marks that show up in my wall, those are all little hairs that came off of my roller. So by using a Purdy one, I don't have to deal with that anymore. Oh. Spike has moved in. Bye, Spike! That's it. I am done with my day. I have a couple things left on my list I need to do, which are all writing things. Um, but I'm probably still covered in paint, which is acceptable for now, because I still have work to do before I can go get in the shower and crawl into bed. Because if I get in the shower, I'll crawl into bed and this episode will not come out on time. So, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go put this all together. Maybe I will go take a shower since I have about 20 minutes remaining before my 24 gigs of time lapse uh, get on the machine. Ugh. All right, so you guys know where to hang out. You can come hang out in commentary because commentary is where it's at. You can also hang out on Twitter at gluttonous. Uh, other things you can do is check out our Patreon. We're going to be revamping our website soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, all of the stuff that I played with today should be in the description below. Um, otherwise, that's it. I'm uh, going to get out of here and go to bed, and we're going to do this all over tomorrow. What's on my list for tomorrow? What are we doing? 
I think I was supposed to paint the ceiling tomorrow. But I did that. Huh.